if I'm going to say this, Chuck Todd did it again. He really dinged James Comer, representative from Kentucky, James Comer today. How did he do it? I want you to check this out and then we'll take it on the other side. These massacres, nobody wants to, to see them. I mean, it does feel as if we talk about the individual freedom of somebody to be able to uh, uh, bear, have the right to bear arms. People want to have the individual freedom to shop at Walmart without fear of getting shot. So I guess, is, is, there, is there any place, any room, I know where your position is, any room to allow, a, if we had, we had a waiting period with the Walmart shooter, it's possible three days, might he might have calmed down, or we might have found something troubling in his past and he doesn't get the weapon. Well, Chuck, you talk about this a lot on, on, uh, on Meet the Press, but when you look at cities that have uh, the most strict gun laws, like mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., Chicago, uh, these are the cities with the highest rate of crimes committed with guns. So, mm -hmm. you know, just simply passing more bills isn't going to solve the problem. I think we need to get uh, serious about law enforcement. We need to invest mm -hmm. in more law enforcement. And again, we need to invest in, in mental health and try to improve communication between our uh, social agencies as well as right. our law enforcement. I've heard this talking point about gun laws in cities, but I don't know if you realize this, the, the states that have the most gun laws have the least amount of per capita gun crime and the states with the least amount of gun laws seem to have the most. I'm showing it here on screen. I don't know if you can see it here. So there is a correlation. If you have more gun laws on the books as a state, you have fewer gun related crimes, uh, gun related deaths. That has been proven statistically. Well, it in places like rural America where just about every other household uh, exercises their Second Amendment rights, there aren't a lot of crimes in these areas. And I think one reason is because uh, potential criminals know uh, that uh, these people are exercising their Second Amendment rights. So this is something that's uh, indoctrinated in our, in our Constitution. This is yeah. something that uh, Republicans hold uh, you know, close. Uh, and we're, we're going to continue to protect our Second Amendment rights. This is what journalists should have been doing for a long time. I mean, Republicans have great talking points and the talking points seem plausible. And when you go ahead and you let them continue to do the talking points without the pushback, it gets cauterized into the minds of Americans. And when they get cauterized into the minds of Americans, it's hard to change what they have perceived the news validated as truth. It is not the case. Well, it is great now what's happening, right? As it turns out, uh, crime rates in blue states, states that have more laws on guns, a lot less than crime rates in these red states. And if you notice how Comer tries to uh, mitigate the, that reality, well, he tries to come out and claim uh, somehow in rural areas it's different than in urban areas. Of course, there's a bigger concentration of people in urban areas. But guess what? Let's look at Tulsa and Oklahoma City. These are cities where they're controlled by Republicans, so they can't say it is somehow a thing related to who is in governance of the big cities, the big blue cities or where it's happening. That's not the case. Overall, blue states do much better at controlling crime with guns than does red states. And the faster Americans understand this, the faster Americans realize that their lives, there's a clear and present danger to their lives in red states more so than blue states. They'll start adopting policies that will, that supports gun restrictions that support the reality that we have got to stop this. No other country in the world suffer what we suffer at the hands of guns, at the hands of a corporatocracy that is selling death with their equipment. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.